Hi, I'm Mary, a librarian and book reviewer with a focus on stories written for kids, tweens, and teens. Today, I get to share with you this book called All That Is Mine, I Carry With Me, written by William Landay. On paper, the Larkin family seems to have it all. A comfortable lifestyle, two parents who rarely fight, and three charming children. But when the mother, Jane, goes missing suddenly one day in November 1975, everything starts to change. Without a body and very little evidence, there's really nothing that the police can do to determine exactly what happened or who might be responsible. So the family must go on as it can in the interim and try to survive. But when her body is discovered in 1993, so 18 years later, there's more evidence that comes to light and it starts pointing the finger in the direction of the father, Dan. But again, there's not enough evidence to really pinpoint him specifically, and the family is left struggling a little bit to find the answers that they seek. So this story is written more for an adult audience, but older young adult readers will appreciate the way that this flows together, especially if they like police-style detective work and murder mysteries. So this story is laid out in a really interesting way. So instead of having traditional chapters, it's laid out in individual books, and each book is presented from a different character's perspective. So the first book comes at us from the author. So it's not necessarily William Landay, but the author of the book that's being written within this book, if you will. Um, so it comes across as a series of um, detective interviews, so a lot of dialogue, and then with different commentary interjected by the speaker of that particular section. So there's a lot of interesting information, there's a little bit of that unreliable narrator going on in here as well, and you as the reader are kind of left piecing together what you end up finding out in each section of this book, trying to determine exactly what is true, and reeling with the characters as they try to do the same. So this story is presented in a way that at first seems a little bit intimidating. You know, there's a lot of text um, and it's close together, but because of the presentation of the book, the fact that there's a lot of dialogue and you're really going over a lot of the same storyline just from different people's perspectives, it reads pretty smoothly all the way through. It's especially good for those cold winter nights when you are looking for something that will really grab your attention and make you think long after it ends. So if this story sounds like a great fit for you, I hope you look for it at your favorite bookstore.